The sky was underpinned with long silver streaks that looked like scaffolding. But no one was paying any attention to the sky. Well, I don't understand why you don't want to write something that people would like to read. Dear God, I want to write a novel. A good novel. So, Connor, sometimes I feel like you're trying to stick pins in your readers. I don't think you need to make them suffer in order to introduce them to the unusual way your mind works. Mary Flannery, you've been writing many cute stories lately. I read that last one you sent your mama. You know, it left kind of a uh, bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> well, you weren't supposed to eat it. You might want to consider being a little more friendly. I try to turn the other cheek, but my tongue was always in it. I, I need to be working. You need to rest. Nowadays, doctors don't let young people die. Dear God, please. I can never seem to escape myself unless I'm writing. And strangely, I'm never more myself than when I'm writing. <laughs> Is there no way for me to disappear into something bigger? Lord, please grant me grace. Let me be your typewriter. Please give me one good story. I thought it would be the end of any creation. Now I see it is only the beginning. It must come easy for you. It's like giving birth to a piano sideways. <laughs> <laughs>